Hey everybody! Welcome back to another Shadow Dancer Stev Vlog! Today in this Dev Vlog today, I'm going to be talking about the potential games I want to make in the future. I'm really excited to talk about this because I've had a lot of plans for a long time now. Anyways, hope you enjoy! So, there's a couple of games I've always wanted to try and make. And this one's pretty loose, but I've always wanted to try to make something similar to Mario Party, in that I make a party game where you go around and travel around a billboard playing a lot of mini games, competing in the chaos and fun that is Mario Party, together with your friends. I'm not sure when I'd make this, but I've always wanted to try and make a party-like game. A lot of different types of mini games could be fun. Maybe, for example, I have more people than Mario Party allows in its four-person structure. Maybe I allow eight, let's say. So then you could have, instead of 2v2 mini games or 1v3 as shown here, you could have a 4v4 or a 2v2v2v2, 2v2, 2v2, something like that. Though that is a very loose idea and 4 players is honestly probably more efficient. The only thing I would like to personally change is to lean into the more skill based part instead of more luck based. Though Mario Party is heavily based in luck, I've always found that it kind of sucks when you just get screwed over a lot over and over again. Anyways, the next type of game I've always wanted to try and make, and I've already kind of dabbled in it if you look at my itch page, is a strategy RPG similar to Fire Emblem. I am a big Fire Emblem fan. Uh, I, re I really enjoyed playing something like Path of Radiance, as you see here, and I really want to try doing it at some point uh, further down the line again, going for a big branching story that gives you some solid advice at the end that has a really solid plot, similar to something like Path of Radiance in difficulty while still keeping you intrigued with the story, as it did with me, as I found it a pretty approachable game to be honest, while still being something really fun to latch onto. The next game I want to try and make is something kind of like Pokemon. Here I show Pokemon Coliseum, I wouldn't be against doing something or a serious story. Similar to Shadow Dancers and how it's slightly more serious than your standard Pokemon fair. Though I'd absolutely love to do something like Gym still, but I definitely want to make it more difficult, as Pokemon Coliseum is more difficult. You would still have a standard team of six, though I feel like the types would be different. For example, not having something like Normal, instead of having something like Earth, combining both rock and ground instead. And basically just having a lot of different variety, and I'd be doing the pixel art myself as I've learned to pick that up in the last couple weeks. There'd be a lot of variety in the creature collector design, as I'm calling them for now, though I could obviously rename them. The designs would vary from something like a giant volcano to a potion, or a mantis with saws for hands. The next game I would, I would like to try would be something similar to Mega Man Arena, in a sort of fighting game with a small cast. Uh, maybe like eight or to ten characters so that balancing is pretty easy as i've seen that having a lot of characters is really hard for balance because you have certain very difficult matchups though the way mega man arena does it is absolutely a splendid job i would just personally like to have a small cast so you don't have to memorize all these different types of matchups so what i would like to do would have a small eight to ten man cast maybe some counters here and there but if you play just three characters you should be okay instead of having to play half the cast to get by. But yeah, a uh, similar kind of style to Mega Man Arena, as I find it a very readable and nice style. And also I'm just better at 2D fighters instead of 3D. Um, but I really enjoy the simple mechanics that it has, only having four main buttons. So I'd wanna stick to something like that where it's very simple to get into, but very hard to master. And it's a very precise and well done game. And of course, the characters would have a different variety of styles. For example, a zoner or a rushdown character, or even something like a summoner could work. So you can have characters that fit a specific style. For example, I like playing really fast and aggressive, but I want to be able to adapt even a zoner or a more defensive character to that style. So letting you have that freedom with your characters is a crucial part to me, instead of just keeping them in one defined box. Another type of game I'd like to make is a another sequel to the game I'm currently working on, Shadow Dancers A Lost Land. This would be the third and maybe not final piece in the, in the Shadow Dancers series for the time being. I've thought about this game very loosely, 
But the problem is just scaling. How do you keep one-upping the previous story in both difficulty and challenge while still making it believable? It's a very hard balance to find. Along with that, would I replace the characters? Would I keep making them go through adventures? Would I reset their power level? There are a lot of questions, but I really, really do want to try to make another game in the Shadow Dancer series as I really enjoy writing the main four casts. Because honestly, they're some of my favorite characters I think I've ever written. Anyways, that's about it for this devlog. I've been Fire. See ya!